Preston McCall here again. As an artist, you look at your work, you see some pieces that seem to be your best work. You know you are the only one who can decide, and all the comments by others are important, but your gut really tells you what you really think about how good your pieces really are. Then you stand back and look at the other recent pieces and evaluate where this is all headed. You ask yourself if this body of work, your best effort of where you want your work to go. Okay, you have some dozen pieces all framed, labeled, posted on your website and hope you are ready to go find a gallery. You have your business cards, you have your nice handout sheet, and you've done the research to tell you which galleries you want to go pitch. You have a list of a few potential galleries where you've met sales reps and even attended a few of their openings. You look in the mirror and see how you look and gather your business cards, handout sheets, a pen, and some notepad, and off you go. Let me back up a minute. 35 years ago, I was running a new car agency. We hired a $10,000 a week consultant named Floyd Kaiser to come in, spend a week with us to teach us how to sell. He was fabulous. One thing he taught us was at the very beginning, when meeting a client, you need to take control. This is called the meet and greet. It is the most important step. Okay, you've rehearsed your lines enough. That they roll off your tongue. You finally walk in, and the guy actually gets up and greets you. You walk up to him, and you say, My name is Preston McCall. What is your name? And he comes back with, My name's John. And then you look at him and say, what's your last name, John? He thinks about it a second as he surveys who you are, look you over and see how you're dressed. And then he tells you his last name. But what he doesn't realize is that you just took control of the situation. That is the whole point. And you have his full name. Looking him in the eyes, you say, John, I am an artist seeking representation. You have in your hand your handout sheet, and you lean in a bit and hand it to him. He looks down and is surveying your work. He'll probably say one of three things. One, nice work, but we're not looking for any new artists. Keep drilling. Or he'll say, you know, I'm not the one to show this to. You need to talk to so-and-so. You repeat that name and ask how to contact that person. He actually may tell you, and that is your in. Or maybe perhaps he'll say, interesting work. Do you have any of these pieces for me to see? Bingo, you're in. So you go out and pick up a few of your pieces and bring them in and set them up against the wall. He walks around, looks at them, and he says, do you have any more of these? He says, oh, absolutely. Hang on a second. So you go out and you pick up another couple of paintings. The more he looks at them, the more he likes them. Then you begin to talk about business, how to price them, how the gallery functions, who else is involved in the business. Congratulations, you're finally getting somewhere. Now I will, in the next chapter of this video, talk about what comes next or what to do if John rejects you. Thanks for watching and feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Stay tuned and let's see the next one. Thank you. And finally, let me say, keep drilling.